Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Hamilton West and Ewing is being brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Thanks, Rich. The first half between Hamilton and West and Ewing was pretty conservative. The Blue Devils led by just three going into halftime. But coming out of the break, their defense got it going for them, and it was only a matter of time before the offense took over to help them get the W. Hamilton West visiting Ewing. We picked this one up in the third. Hornets leading it 6-3. to three. First Hamilton drive. Trying to work out of their own end zone. Hezekiah Patterson looks for his man, but Caleb Stokes is there for some fresh cookies. And he's taking this one to the crib for six. Ewing now leading it 10 to six. Next touch for the Hornets. They get it to midfield, but there's a fumble. Blue Devils come up with another big turnover. Ewing will take it down to the red zone. And from 10 yards out, Ty Wayne Reed gets the handoff and stretches out for the score. Look at that extension. That's playing for keeps. They're rocking as time winds down in the third, and they would keep it going. First on this big sack on third down to force a punt, and then on this 22-yard field goal from Matt Honkiel in the fourth to make it 20-6, Ewing. Hamilton West still fighting till the very end. Patterson puts it up, but no dice, and that would do it as the Blue Devils hang on to win it. 20-6 is your final. Ewing snaps a four-game losing streak. They enter the game one spot and one power point behind Hamilton West in the Group 3 Central rankings. With this win, they keep their playoff hopes alive as they have two games remaining on the schedule. Afterwards, we caught up with the player who shifted the tides and head coach Drew Bessler on how he got his team to play lights out in the second half. Keys to success is, you know, guys were, were handling their assignments. You know, coaches kept coaching and, and players made plays. I mean, we needed guys to step up tonight and to get after it, and they did. I mean, the, the adjustments were, we finally played a, a you know, a complete game in, in what seems like forever. Defensively, we, we were swarmed the whole, the whole game. We were all over the place, and offensively, we started to click. We started to get our run game going. We started to get our alignment, moving people up front, and, and that proved to be the difference in the second half. Honestly, in the, in the weight room at halftime, Coach had us in the push-up position. We didn't want to do that again, so we, we had to make a difference. I'm like, I need to get one. Coach has been harping on me all season. Just to, That was my first pick. Coach has been harping on me for all season just to get one, and I finally got one. Ewing will take on Princeton next. For Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Nery Rodriguez. Now let's head over to Pennington, where Lenape makes a visit to Hopewell Valley.